Okay, where's our lucky carts? Let's get a lucky cart. I'm gonna let Jordan pick out the lucky cart. Is that the right one? Is that the one? Are you feeling it? Has it got the vibe? Maybe? Maybe not? <laughs> to store number four on this journey and this is a goodwill so there's there's two good so we were in uh, Fort Mojave is is I guess a separate little city and now we're actually in Bullhead City at the goodwill so who knew uh, so we're gonna head into this goodwill and see what we can find and uh, my hopes are high so with that let's go get shop done it's windy out here Let's get inside. So much for like, yeah, the hair, the hair is just a mess. Okay, where's our lucky carts? Let's get a lucky cart. I'm gonna let Jordan pick out the lucky cart. Is that the right one? Is that the one? Are you feeling it? Has it got the vibe? Maybe? Maybe not? <laughs> All right, they have their stuff up on top too. That's cute. It's just a decorative piece. Oh, it came from Hobby Lobby. Oh. That's not terrible. It would have been like 15 at Hobby Lobby and they've got it 9.49. That's not horrible. That's not bad. Oh, she's giving me the cart and she's off and running. All right. Pretty, big, bulky. Don't want to ship that. This bowl is interesting me a little bit. I want to move this thing over and go look at this bowl that's Oh, now that I look at it, it's peeling and it is uh, yellowed inside. It's a pioneer woman, but it's not in good shape. So that we have to pass behind. And I think that's it. Oh my goodness, they have lots and lots of mishy mashy. That's parchment paper. Yeah. <sighs> All right, I'm really not wanting to bring home just stuff like this today. Because we're doing pretty good on space in the truck, and I think we may only hit like one more store, so if I can keep that on a roll, we'll be good. Um, this is Mexican Talavera, and I don't normally pick up Kleenex box things, but the Talavera is so gorgeous that for $5.49, I am going to. This is the row that I did so spectacularly on last time that I'm excited to hit it again and see what goodies are here this time. Like this really, really cute little, it's a vintage, it's made in Taiwan, little vintage chicky basket. I'm looking for any damage on it. It's just, I want to have an Easter live sale, but I think... It's, it's not very well made, and for $4.49, I'm going to pass it, but it did tug me for a minute. It was tugging me, but let's see what else we got. Oh, I like the uh, Easter egg wreath. I guess it wouldn't have to be Easter, but it's very spring. But we will leave that, too. Let's see what else is under here. Nothing too exciting. Yeah, they do have a little Christmas left. But I don't see anything that uh, is really calling to me with the Christmas either. It's kind of cute, little candle holder dude. Look, somebody already peeled that before me. Just see what that sticker said. It says Christmas Lovekins by Jasco, 1978. All right. Oh, they're not quite as packed as they were the last time I came here and found so much cool stuff. But you never know, like, you know, little nuts and bolts, uh, cowboy dude, these actually sell really well. So even though he's small, 249, I will pick him up. 
Oh, let's see. This looks like a Hummel wannabe. Unfortunately. Oh, actually, it might actually be a... No, it says made in Thailand. But it says Berta Hummel on there, so I'm not quite sure about that without peeling the sticker, but there's really no sense to peel the sticker because it's completely broken. Got a little sand castle. It's a cute little girl. Hmm. A scuba squirrel? Doesn't everybody need a oh he's a he's an aquarium. He's an aquarium guy. We don't have freshwater aquarium anymore. This is cool. All of these rocks. Looks like a project. You you buy the kit and you pour the stuff in and then you pour this plasticky stuff in. What are you? You are oh, you're broken. That's what you are. I'm sorry. Can't take you. Let's see who she is. No name, no markings. I'm still um I used to like I used to buy that stuff and take the time and look it up and I just don't have time to do that anymore. So my buying has now converted more to things that I can easily research, look up and get them sold. Especially since I try to give you values. Well, I don't try. I do. I give you values on everything at the end of every video. So it's got to be stuff I can research and find and not spend a ton of time. And even then, I've still had some things that I've had to say. Um, still researching. That's an Ainsley, just orchids. All right, let's see. Got a little birdhouse thing here. I don't know why these doors open. Why does that open like... Okay, I'm confused. I'm very confused why there's like a piece. Maybe it's just broken and it's not supposed to do that. I think maybe that's what it is. Oh, there's an eagle in acrylic. Oh, these down here. Mermaid boogie board and a whole bunch of flowers. What did you find? It's an owl piece. You found, uh, oh, because you're doing an owl party. It Superb works. Superb owl party. Superb owl party. Okay, it's supposed to be like a thing. And she found like the best shot glass ever. Oh my goodness, look at how extravagant this little guy is with his little vegetables garden growing. Oh my goodness, look at him. He's, uh, He's got quite a lot going on there. I love it. I love it. It's twelve fifty though, so we're not going to get it. Oh, I just looked up and I see a sea turtle. It's got a little wear to his paint. And he's seven fifty, so we'll leave him. He's got a fish friend too. Somebody painted those, I think, over like the regular natural rattan color. That's just art pottery pretty but we don't need it art lots of art pottery actually on this shelf okay elephants oh these are cute those are cute elephants who makes you we don't know oh his trunk is very very broken yeah and because there's not a pair I think I'm gonna leave them oh she walked right by this one. I'll put this in the cart and see if that one's up to her standards. Yeah, she's doing a superb owl party. I, I, I guess it's a thing I, that I'm supposed to know about because I don't know why I'm supposed to know about it, but I guess it's a thing. We'll ask her about it when she comes back by. I'm looking for a mark on the bottom of this. I think it's a seal. It is. But there isn't one and he's got a big seam on his back which tells me he's not super good quality which is why I am leaving him all right shelves are not nearly as exciting as the last time I was here which is I'm okay with that I'm honestly really really okay with that because that's less stuff to deal with when I get home okay these are candle holders, but they're very, very dried out and cracking. 
There are some Avon Cape Cod Ruby Red candle holders. I don't know what the candle holders sell for. I'm going to guess $15 to $20 for a pair. I haven't looked them up for a while. This looks like the Costa Boda Snowflake, Snowball, Snowflake, Snowball. But it's not marked, so they always kind of throw me into a little quandary of whether to buy or not. I think I'm going to pass. I'm going to do it. I'm going to pass. If it was closer to Christmas, I probably, you know, would have been more inclined to pick it up. But I'm going to let it go. I'm still, I'm still going to keep looking for Glassy Baby, even though out here in the Southwest, they are told to pull them while they're sorting in the back. I've had that confirmed by both an employee, actually two employees and a supervisor that yeah, it is on the list of things to pull, but that doesn't mean it can't get missed. So could still be a luck of the draw of finding them, but out here, it's a lower chance. If you're in another place in the country, there's probably a higher chance because not every Goodwill runs under the same policies. They are all regional. I'm trying to see who made this I would have to remove that candle, but I like the glass piece to it. Not gonna get it though. All right, I don't see anything else down here. All right, what are you? Beer tasting set. Brass. Those are nice. Oh, actually that is nice. There aren't two. There's only one. Oh, it's a little seagull. Those do pretty good in a set. Mm. We've got some strawberry salt and peppers. Papel giftware. Vintage, but not super old. There's been a lot of discussion lately about what is vintage. Etsy kind of set the standard that vintage is anything over 20 years old, but if you talk to, you know, true dealers and things, they say, yeah, you know, true vintage is anything over 40 and then antique begins at a hundred years. So there you go. Even though we can call anything over 20 years old vintage, apparently 40 is like the official, it be, these are, um, these are Franciscan. You can see the little F there. It's the apple pattern. I know, I've kind of looked at them a couple times. They don't sell for too much. Spathus Keramic Grease with 24 karat gold. And there's one, two, three, four. They're priced at $7.50 each. So I'm just really curious what those sell for. So I looked up a set of three of these will sell for $25, which that's what, about six bucks? No, seven bucks each-ish. So yeah, that's what they did is they priced them according to that one sold listing, which I don't know if that strategy will work for them or not, but I wish them well. They have so many baggies on the end caps of all of their rows. I'll have to peek through those a little bit. Oh, that's kind of a cool little casserole thing. I think it's like... I, just looking at it here, I see like the paint edges are not very precise. And I was going to say, yep, that is a hobbyist piece right there, 1976. There you go. You can kind of tell by the quality. Even on manufactured items, you want quality. Always looking for quality. Even if you don't have a maker's name, a lot of times quality will be your selling point that you can still get a good price, even if you can't say who exactly it is by. And then there, I mean, there are some cheaper things that sell well just because of the name too. So, I mean, there are no hardcore rules, you know, that's, there's always some exceptions to the rules. And you have to be aware of that and go by individual items and then develop that gut, that gut instinct on, you know, is this gonna bring 20 bucks? Hmm, I don't know. There's two of them. 
kind of cool, aren't they? They are birds, trivets. I don't think it's a $20 bill though. I'm looking through the coasters. Those are interesting. No, nothing I can't live without this trip. And pitchers, boy, they have like every kind of pitcher and container together, whether they're plastic, glass, ceramic, all their salt and peppers and their gravy boats are together. That is interesting. Is that hearth and, hearth and hand? which is the um, Joanna Gaines brand. Now, $4.49, but it was only $5.99, brand spanking new. I don't understand that pricing philosophy, but again, I wish them, I wish them good luck on that. Nothing that we can pick up here though. I have the feeling we won't be going home with much from this store, which also will influence you know, how often I come out here. It used to just be a treasure trove out here. And I don't know if they kind of got wind of that, you know, that resellers were coming out and making money out here or what, but the prices have really gone up. And there's just not as much of the cool stuff, which also is interesting. Now I haven't been to very many of the, uh, the off brand, if you will, thrift stores we just went to the one so it's interesting if people are donating better stuff over at some of the independent thrifts because there's a lot of them out here oh but then look at this guy he's mid-century he's roosters there's a couple little places of wear but overall not bad not bad at all like right that's the worst of it and so for 349 we're gonna pick him up all right, bowls, 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 but nothing exciting. Okay, let's see if we can find any more cool decorative goodies up here. Oh, I remember when these were kind of a thing to be finding. Were these put out? McDon oh, Burger King. I knew it was one of those. Put those out. All right, let's see if we can find anything else. All right, this is kind of a cool, called a handkerchief vase. This one's really good quality. It's got some thickness to it. It's that cool red, ruby red color for $6.50. We'll grab that. And let's see if we can find anything else that's cool up here. Oh my goodness, I'm just not finding anything. And I'm trying, I'm looking, there's just nothing here. See if there's anything in their little metal section. I do like this little pickup truck. I don't know what, what would you do with him? Put a plant in the back? He does kind of go along with the theme of those, um, those like scooter planters that I got. So I think I'm gonna pick him up for 650. I do need to get down to the booth and restock and refresh things a bit. So it'd be nice to have some items with a pop of red. You know how I love to put red down at the booth because it's just a color that your eye gets attracted to. So if you can have red down there, it's gonna help you pull people into your booth and help you sell things from your booth. Just decided to turn around here and look at the other side of where I already went down just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Like maybe a cool little <laughs> jar from Ross. Never mind. Uh, I'm just not seeing anything. I spotted something that looks like it might have some age on it. It's this kind of a, I don't know if it's a desk. No, it's got to be a serving thing because this is like a, a cutting board, like a cheese cutting board trivety thing. But again, it's got no maker, no nothing. It's going to take some research. So I'm going to leave it, but I do see this guy. This is an artist out of Alaska, Roxana Leesk. And it's a nice box. It's 550. I like it because it is a copper 
inlay into that. The box itself is not super high quality, uh, but it is vintage, so I'm gonna have to do a little touch up there. But for $5.49, I'm gonna grab that. The cool thing about that is it's got definite materials and a style and it's got an artist name, so it's a fairly easy piece to research. And that is why I grabbed that over, say, the cheese piece, the cheese cutter board thing, server, whatever you call it. See, I can't even come up with a name for it. Just proves my point. Laugh. Oh, laugh, that's all it says. Oh, and then there's home, and then there's, what are these? I guess I should have looked at that one because it said what it was on that other one. They were expensive at Marshall's at some point. No, it doesn't really say, it just says compare to, I don't know what they are. I guess they're just blocks. All right, let's look on this side. 628, just a shelf bracket. little shadow box gosh I just don't see anything exciting hmm nope all right now we're looking through kind of the fake plants remember I'm looking at the pots they're in as well as kind of looking at the plants to see if there's any that I want to use in some of my future projects um, I like like dainty little things that can be accent pieces at the booth and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and I found that one for Noah. I hope he likes it. They've got a lot of art up on top here that I'm taking a peek at. That is a Nancy Glazier. Really cool print. Like, hi, if I had the space and the time to deal with that, I'd probably pick that up because it is a signed and numbered print in its original frame with its original like tag and it's 14 1449 like you almost can't go wrong with a piece like that but it's big and I just I'm at a place I just can't deal with that right now here's another really interesting piece of art it is a print but ballet is just one of those like emotionally driven subject matters that it usually does quite well even without knowing who the artist is it's a lot of times it's just subject matter too so now we'll get into some of the smaller stuff see this cool clock over here it's on a piece of like agate stone it's all stone look at the whole thing is made of stone and it just needs a battery this is a little bent but that can be I hate shipping clocks though is my theme. So because it's twelve fifty, I'm gonna leave that for somebody else, but that one oh that's very cheaply made. Alright, I don't see anything else here in the clocks for sure. Here is all their little mixed small art that I just I I just don't even feel like going through all this. Because I don't really need it bad enough to deal with all of this. So I think I'm just gonna kind of take a quick peek maybe at the nope, those are cheap paper butterflies. Nope, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on the art today. Okay, this is better. This is like their medium size art and it's laid out and I can look at it and that works really well for me. Andre Tracy 50s va fashionista vacuuming is the name of that one. Alrighty then. I kind of like those fish. I don't know, like, I just when I think I have Noah's art stuff figured out, he throws me a curveball. So I don't even know how to buy that boy art. He's got to pick it out himself, which I think might be part of the fun for him. I do see one I think I'm going to send him a picture of after I look at this one. It looks newer, though. Looks like a newer piece. But I'll tell you what I think he might like is this piece right here with the sunrise. It's actually signed and numbered too by George Rhodes. So I'm gonna send him a picture of that and see if that tickles his fancy. All right, 
I spotted this granny square afghan over here, so I had to take a peek. I don't know how I feel about this one. It doesn't, so the thing with these is when you put your hands on them, you can kind of get a sense for the quality of the yarn used and all that. And I'm not, I'm not getting that from, from this one. It doesn't, it's not soft and it doesn't have a good feel to it. Uh, so that is something I'm going to leave because I don't want someone to get something that maybe they intend on using and then it's super coarse and they're like, Ooh, I can't use this. We'll take a peek down the placemats and napkins. I'm looking for napkins for Carrie needs a bunch of cloth napkins, but no, I'm not seeing anything exciting here today. Well, Jordan found some cute clothes like she always does. So she took care of that and that that's really all that's in the cart this time nothing spectacular but uh we're gonna go find someplace else and see if all the good stuff in town is hiding somewhere else this time well that was disappointing very strange very strange because i have been coming out to bullhead city for the past couple of years and coming to these stores because they were so good but I'm honestly gonna tell you right now, I'm not sure it's worth the trip out here again. So, we're gonna go try, everything is closing too. So we're gonna be able to hit like one more place and um, probably just gonna put that right at the end of this video because I didn't even get enough in there for a full video. That's how disappointing it was. So. I say so a lot, don't I? I just realized that. Okay, so <laughs> let's head down the street, see what else we can find. Okay, I get it now. Her superb owl party just happens to occur at the same time most people are celebrating the Super Bowl. Let's see if you guys can figure that one out. She's really proud of herself. I will tell you that much. <laughs> it is pretty funny. <laughs> okay, we found a little place called the Mojave County Donation Center and Retail. Literally, it was the only place that stayed open past six o'clock that we could still come to before heading back into Las Vegas. So, I see lots of golf clubs over there, Jordan. You were looking at golf clubs. I don't golf. You were thinking about taking it up though. All right, so let's get in here and you never know. Let's see what we can find. Let's get shopped done. All right, you can see it's really windy. Really, really windy here. And it's getting really cold. So, get that door open. Let's get inside. See what we can find. Oh, can you even get that door open? All right, let's see. We've got some tiara glass. I'm not a big fan of tiara glass. I know there's some people who really like it. It's just not my, it's not my vibe. It's not my thing. Okay, looks like a lot of, you know, everything's kind of mixed together. So we're going to have to hunt really hard. Of course, uh, Jordan is already over into the clothing. She is in the clothing. These are cool. The little uh, polo mugs. Just says Korea. They are vintage. Those are are nice they're nice quality too but we are not going to pick those up today oh let's see oh, nothing on this show all right let me let me try again because i just realized that i did not have my special mode on that wasn't drowning out some of that really really loud loud music their music's like really loud so hopefully we're going to be able to use this footage. Okay, this is about the loudest store I think I've ever been in. I mean, it's really loud. So I will just add a little bit of voiceover to this part of the footage. Um, I'm not finding a whole lot on these shelves that isn't just, you know, common stuff that I find most of the time. Clear glass, 
household goods. Just nothing really calling out to me, which is what I'm looking for. You know, that one little single milk glass candle holder. I'd have been intrigued if there had been a pair because that's something that people really like now. This is Carol's Crafts, so that's a hobbyist piece. But yeah, not, uh, not much here in this section. Okie dokie, let's keep going. Okay, she's not finding much either. I mean, she didn't even come over to the cart once to put anything in it, so that tells me she wasn't having much luck here either. This looks like it's supposed to be Peruvian art. Not super exciting, but this is a bit exciting. I'm not real wild about the $14.99 price tag, but this is definitely mid-century. It's on a solid piece of marble. It is can't read what that said now. <laughs> oh, but it's a super solid, nice mid-century piece. So um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and pick this up and hope to find something else that kind of balances out the fact that we're paying $15 for that piece. If I can find something, you know, that's a little underpriced, it all evens out. That's why every once in a while I will pay up a little bit because at the end of the day, I find more pieces where the profit is huge than not. This piece was super lightweight. I expected it to have a little weight on it. Those glasses are beautiful, but fairly common for me to find. Now this little guy was cute and vintage. A little Model T sculpture. There we go. $2.99. We'll take that. And we'll take the little mushroom creamer. It does have a little bit of glaze chipping on it, but Mushrooms are so hot right now that that will not be a problem and getting this little guy sold for a good profit. And be sure you stay all the way to the end where I do a recap and I tell you how much I paid. I identify items that I may not have known what it was right when I picked it up. And I tell you the values and those values are based off of me researching every single item that I buy before I finish this video so that I can give you actual sold prices, not just, you know, guesses. Those are actual sold comps. I I thought this plate was, that was like one whole plate kind of a thing. And now I realize my brain is probably playing tricks on me at this point in the journey. It has been a long day and uh, there's gonna be a long drive home, which I'm already starting to think about at this point. In fact, this is about the point that Jordan is going to ask me for the keys and she's going to go sit out in the truck because she's just done. I do like those three little mugs there and I'm not even sure why I didn't look closer at them. But I did look at these uh, glasses that were just in these little rattan sleeve coasters and those I see all the time. Okay, anything else in this place? Yep, there she goes, taking the keys and ditching me. As she would say, rude. <laughs> that is a mouse. I thought it was a bunny at first, and then I saw the tail, and I thought, okay, that is a mouse. I wasn't real wild about how they blushed the cheeks. I think that's what, it just looked dirty. But then I found this cool wicker trash can, which... I'm probably going to keep and use, but they have really good value. So I'll have to contemplate whether I'm going to sell that or not. This is a little three-dimensional decoupage kind of a kind of a thing. Nah, not super exciting. And a giraffe. Pretty simplistic, though. And then I spot this quite vintage piece under here, and I was kind of excited about it until I turn it over and see they want $19.99. It's a metal craft, early American dimension. Yeah, it's worth about 20 bucks. So can't do much when they're selling it for 20 bucks. So that's about it. Let's go do the recap. 
and check out of this place. That's a wrap. Didn't get to as many places as we had planned on and didn't find as much cool stuff as we thought we might, but it was an adventure. And now I have driven a truck again and I'm kind of, I'm still on the fence. I don't know that I totally love it. I, I yeah, I, I, I'm so used to my little car and it's great gas mileage and I'm looking at this thing getting you know, on the open highway, the average is like uh, 15 miles per gallon. I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I like being frugal with my little economy car. So I don't know. I may look at, I like the feel of the truck, but I don't know that I like the cost of the truck. We didn't even put anything in the back. We did not put anything in the back, but we are going to go buy a barbecue tomorrow. Oh, thank yeah. you. So we are going to get the most out of the truck by going to get a barbecue for Noah tomorrow because no one wants to barbecue uh so with that we're heading out so i don't think i'm coming back on here before this trip is over <laughs> so with that you go be profitable and make it fun and hydrated and hydrated and hydrated and we'll see you on the next one